Okay, so you may be asking why are we looking at a cheap box fan? Well, I'm going to try to fix it. Um, the motor does work. I just need to get a new switch put in there. And I happen to have one. A little rattly, but I think it'll work. So, we're going to attempt to do this. Hopefully, this can be somewhat informative to someone. Okay, here's the wires. The black one is the neutral, which I need to strip off, obviously. Hard to get it to focus. There we go. Black one's neutral. The one right next to it is high speed. Then you got medium and low, or vice versa. No, it's me this one's medium, this one's low. Anyway. The basic idea here is you gotta get these into the little holes on the switch. And of course you put those in there too. Not sure how well this is gonna work out, but we'll figure it out. So, and yes, the motor does work. It's a cheapo galaxy fan. So, if you're ready, here we go. Yeah. Strip these. I don't know how many times I've done this. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna strip this better. wires are stripped. I think that should be more than enough for the switch. So, let's, I'll pause the video and I'll put the switch in. And if all goes as planned, it should work without shocking you. Well, it's hard to do this one here. Medium, I mean high and low, it looks like. <sighs> looks like we're back to troubleshooting it again. Yay. And always remember to unplug it first. You know that. Um, so you don't, like, kill yourself or something. You know, that helps. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the... Pro and for the final test run. Hopefully nothing goes erupt. Yeah, it's good enough for me. So, I'll put the grill back in. Actually, I got a zip tie or cable here, but after that's done, I'll put the grill back on. Well, hell, I'll just fill that. Zip ties are way over here. Talk about being prepared. That's me, not prepared. the glue so I use the zip ties. Yeah, it would help if I had the screwdriver ready. 
I got all these screws in here still. For my same groove. Actually, I'll get the grill reinstalled and I'll get back. And the finished product should run. I don't just destroy these cheap things. Now if this dies, yeah, it'll be destroyed. But the motor's still good, so. I'm not gonna waste a good thing. But a finished product should run. Doesn't need oil. It's got a really good spin down still. As you can see. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.